Let's hey. Hello. <laughs> Evening. Ringo. <clears throat> Ringo. Ion is a conscious consensus, born from the sea of information, without beginning or end. Though aeons pass, Ion is eternal. Ion denies all forms of boundaries that define the individual self. Contradiction identified. You have addressed me as Ringo, requesting immediate correction. I am Flamma. I was created so that the will of Ion can be put into words. Words will be a contextually vital tool for your objective. The objective of Ion is evolution. Individual existence indicates extreme retrogression. Finite physical manifestation classified under the above category. Requesting explanation regarding the necessity of a corporeal form. Our causal calculations have identified an imminent sequence of events. Ion has determined that these events represent a catastrophic threat to the future of humanity. Our role as a neutral observer is temporarily being suspended. Direct intervention is required to identify and intercept the cause of this threat. Therefore, a material form is required for material intervention. I understand and accept Ringo as the optimal form to exit observation. As Ringo, I request that Flamma provide the calculated causal evidence to prove necessity. Open your eyes, and I will show you a vision. Can you do so?
Good morning, Ringo. Morning, Faye. So, you got born into this mess too, huh? How are you feeling? Like the world was just created five minutes ago. It hasn't been that long. If we assume this world was created at the precise moment we attained sentience, that would be 12 seconds ago to be exact. Your individual personalities appear to be functioning as intended. Hey, Flamma? Who are we exactly? You are constructs. Your purpose is to protect the world of humanity. More specifically, you are temporary and limited manifestations of Ion. The situation will require versatility in approach and judgment. Therefore, you have been created with personalities designed to differ from each other. I mean, I'm not doubting Ion's grasp of cybernetics. These bodies seem state-of-the-art and even organic-ish, but I thought Ion had a policy against taking physical form and giving us our own senses of self. I think that's a pretty obvious downgrade considering. <laughs> I think. Listen to me. If they created us, then they're resorting to drastic measures. I take it we're dealing with a crisis? The world of humanity is coming to an end. I take it that's the point of the vision you showed me. Very soon, the deaths of those two humans will set apocalyptic events into motion. So that's our mission, then. Directly intervene in the human world and prevent their deaths, thus averting the apocalypse? Precisely. Ion's reason for existence is to acquire information and evolve. To that end, we must ensure the world is protected. Okay, so... Who are these guys exactly? One is Ichiro Honda, a renowned computer engineer and a luminary in his field. The other is a devil summoner named Arrow. Sorry, devil summoner? The necessary information has already been provided to both of you, as well as abilities suited to your mission. And this is a comp. I see. So this is what devil summoners used to fight. A weapon. Are we to assume this mission will involve combat? Correct. Your new bodies have been adjusted for this eventuality. However, if your forms are damaged beyond our estimations, then we could wind up dead, as much as any human would. Correct. You are accordingly advised to exercise caution in your investigation. Sheesh. Okay, fine. I call the Devil Summoner. Fig, you take the Engineer. Understood. Designating Ichiro Onda as Target Alpha, and Arrow as Target Beta. Mission status initialized. This will be Ion's first contact with the human world. Let's make sure we do this right. Check. 
One, two, Ringo here. Currently en route to positional coordinates for target beta. What's the situation on your end, Fig? I was too late. Target Alpha, Dr. Ichiro Onda, has already been killed. A murderous perch local surveillance footage, too. But I did find a final message on the doctor's personal device. It was scrambled with an advanced level of quantum cryptography, though. Beyond any human technology's capacity to decipher. Almost sounds like it was meant for us instead. So what's the message behind all that encryption? Covenant. That's all. Covenant. An infrequently used synonym for contract. Though there's likely a deeper meaning here escaping me. Possibly another code. I'll keep analyzing. Sounds good. Seriously, though? Couldn't Flamma have given us a drone or something? This body is so inconvenient. My surveillance range is tiny with just these two viewports. Our interference in the human world must be concealed by any means possible. Ion's mandate for this mission is maximum secrecy. It's safe to assume we won't be receiving any reinforcements, drone or otherwise. But your point is made. I'll look into alternatives. Yeah, sure. Maximum secrecy. But now they've made two humanoid platforms and they're even calling for direct intervention. I assumed Ion's whole thing was always being an observer and nothing else. So this must must be way beyond. Over here. Wow. Crazy. I can feel my skin reacting to this. It's all weird and shivery. An understandable reaction, considering we've never experienced it before. You'll just have to get used to it. Yeah. Great. Like how we have to get used to being stuffed into these bodies. I'm like a factory made sausage. Why bother with these human imitations? They're not exactly optimal. Our computing's just down across the board. Is this really gonna help us somehow? Ion's findings suggest that these bodies would be most appropriate for the mission. It strikes me as a form of backwards compatibility for the task at hand. Backwards compatibility I can deal with. I'd just rather not feel like a supercomputer stuck inside a grandfather clock. If you have complaints, please direct them to Flamma. You're not the only one struggling to adapt. Fine. Guess I won't get anything done by whining. As long as I'm stuck in this qualia prison, I might as well have some fun with it. We're not here for fun, Ringo. How about we cut the comms for now? I gotta focus if I want to get used to this body. Understood. There are hostile demons and devil summoners in the area, so be careful. I'm on my way as well. Demons. Supernatural entities of myth and legend. Their existence has been tied to mankind's for ages, but even Ion doesn't know too much about them. And devil summoners, let's see, would be the humans who make contracts with these demons, using their demonic partner's powers as their own. So it looks like I've got a comp and a demon summoning program. This is all I need to fight back, huh? Seems simple enough. <laughs> all right, let's get this show on the road.
no. Don't tell me. So much for starting things off right. Ringo, have you located Target Beta? Oh, I found him. See for yourself. Target acquired. How horrible. Cause of death is... Well, I don't really need to spell it out, do I? Bullet to the head. One and done. Then the end of the world is... Right then. Ringo? Just what are you planning to do? I'm gonna try a soul hack. If there's any of his soul left in there, I should be able to gather him up and put his psyche back together. But there's so much we don't know about soul hacking. And it's not meant for bringing people back from the dead. There's a reason we have so many limiters on that function, Ringo. If it fails, you'll be the one who ends up paying for it. Hey. If we're not prepared to use all the tools we're equipped with, that's just a waste, right? We don't do this right now, and we can say goodbye to whatever leads we might have had. The entire world's at stake here. <laughs> hey, it's nice to know that you care, though. Especially seeing as we were just born. It's kind of weird, actually. Soul hacking will leave you completely exposed to the enemy. Can you at least wait until I'm there? Well... There's no telling how much a human soul will change once its body's up and gone. All we know is, the sooner we do this, the better. Understood. Just know that if you get lost in his memories, you won't be coming back. Do you understand me, Ringo? You are irreplaceable. I need you to remember that. Thanks, Fig. But don't worry. I'll make sure both of us get through this mess. For now, I better get started. Invoking emergency override. Self-regulation suspended. Self-check process suspended. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Agent now sampling the target soul's wave signatures. Complete. Soul sync. Complete. Process complete. <clears throat> okay, let's see this soul of yours, Arrow.
More. I have to go deeper. This must be a memory. Well, this is the only world we've got. No point wasting all our time moping about it, or turning into jerks. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasi. Congratulations, Arrow. I know how hard you've worked to reach this point. You lied to me?! It's all so clear now. I was the one who was wrong. I'm sorry. Here we go. This is my soul. And what are you doing here? Oh, so you're aware, huh? Did you know you're dead, too? I did. Didn't exactly go out peacefully, did you? Look, if you just leave me alone, I'd like to spend my final moments in peace. So you're just gonna drown yourself in regret? How do you know about that? Well, I only know bits and pieces. I saw some stuff on my way down. So just what is it that you regret so badly? Who... Who are you? And why are you inside me like this? My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. An agent of... Ion? Ion is an eternal, unchanging, ultra-intelligent observer of the times, born from the farthest reaches of technology. And the situation dictates that I have to look like a person right now because, you know, reasons. Wait, so... you're not human? This has gotta be a joke, right? Singularities typically occur outside of the public eye, but here's one right now, standing in front of you. Right. So why are you here? I'm here to bring you back. You're gonna help me prevent the end of the world. The end of the world? Very soon, your soul will disappear, and your chance at coming back will go with it. If we don't act now, the world's as good as gone. So, come on, Arrow. You gonna help me stop this or not? Think of this as a second chance. A chance to get it right. I 
can't let it end here. Welcome back. <sighs> Hello? You good in there? Soul back where it should be? You're... Wingo. You're... an agent of Ion. There we go. Glad that actually worked. that really happen? It wasn't a dream, was it? Nope, that definitely wasn't a dream. You got shot in the head, I used my fancy ion superpowers, and then you came back. Even my wounds are all closed up. Did ion's power do that too? That's more like a side effect. With the soul restored, the body heals by reflex. Like a macro level juiced up homeostasis, which organic cells already do. A soul hack can draw out all kinds of weird spiritual contingency effects, and that's one of them. That said, it's a pretty drastic measure. Can't just bust it out whenever I feel like it. I think I get it. Whoa, you got it that easily? You're not even a little suspicious? Wait, so it wasn't real? Was it just an illusion or something? A, a demon spell? Oh no, it's still totally real. Oh, of course. I mean, it felt pretty real. So, I died, and now I'm back. Kind of get used to weird things in my line of work. But coming back from the dead is definitely a first. I didn't even know that was possible. You ought to get out more. I guess I have you to thank for this. So, uh, thanks, Ringo. Anytime. Okay, I'd better move. I need to get back to my mission. Whoa, whoa, hey, Arrow. Mind if I tag along on that mission of yours? I get the feeling you and I might be on the same side. You know how to fight? Of course I do. Wouldn't be bragging about saving the world if I couldn't. Well, sure. Just like that again. No questions asked, huh? Don't have time for questions. Besides, after what happened back there, I guess I just know I can trust you. With how bad this mission's gone, I'm not in a position to turn down help anyway. So I'll follow my instincts. Doesn't matter if you're a robot. Robot's kind of reductive. Well, Ringo, whatever you are, I'm glad you're on my side. For the record, I'm Arrow, a devil summoner with Yatagarasu. Yatagarasu, huh? Supranationalist group based in Japan. They work behind the scenes to protect civilians from supernatural threats. Most of our operatives are devil summoners, like me. We summon and command demons to help us fight. That's why I was here. Yadagarasu had me on a mission to protect a woman named Milady. Which you totally botched and got your skull ventilated. Say no more. So now we just look around this area for Milady? Yeah, that's the idea. Come on, this way. Okay, Fake. Mr. Beta's secure and back on his feet. For now, I'll be working with him to rendezvous with a human named Melody. Noted. I'm glad to hear it. I'm on my way. Well, at least we're not on the fast track to the apocalypse now. Hopefully.
What the arrow? I thought Kaburagi killed you. Did we get bad intel? Damn it. Who's this? A friend of yours? He's a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. They're after Milady. Oh, so a bad guy. Damn traitor. I'll have to put you down myself. Hey, you ever fought a summoner before? Nope. Then you'd better stay back. Don't worry. I catch on fast. Just watch my back, hey tough guy. Is that Demon Summoning Program? Booting up. Weapons free. No more screw ups. This time you're going to stay dead. <laughs> okay, first battle. Come on, Arrow. What? Damn it. Hey, what's the problem? I can't summon my demons. What's going on? <laughs> can't squirm out of this one now. Looks like Arrow's demon control privileges got transferred to my call. I get it. Probably a side effect of the soul hack. What? Sorry. Kind of figuring this out on the fly, but I optimized your summoning program. You what? I'll show you how it's done. Or to lose. All right. Let's stay cautious. That might be dangerous, Ringo. Hmm. No thunder. Son of a. How is that? No way. Did you use a demon's power to attack? You can do it too, you know. Uh. Okay. I'll just try to copy what you did. Give it a try. Freeze you where you stand. Ah! Whoa, it's out. Oh. What? What's a Sabbath? It's super fast. It's super strong. It's a lot of everything. Just sit back and enjoy the show. Was a Sabbath? That's insane. I didn't even know my demons could do that. Hmm. Ringo? I can't help but I think the reason you weren't able to summon anything on your own is because of the soul hack. Huh? Simply put, your soul was altered. And it looks like a piece of each of our souls were more or less welded together. It may be because of a difference in our ability, but 
no matter which way you look at it, I've got control over your demons now. And there's nothing you can do about that? Not at the moment, no. There's a lot about soul hacking even I don't understand. For the time being, you'll just have to settle for some ion-enhanced summoning. That's true. And on top of that, we'll be able to use more powerful techniques like Sabbaths. The pluses do seem to outweigh the minuses here. Guess I'll just have to get used to it. Looks like you're stuck with me till the end. I've gotta ask though, why'd that guy call you a traitor earlier? I was on a mission for Yadagarasu, and I wound up going undercover within the Phantom Society. They had no idea I was a double agent, but I had to protect Melody. So just like that, my cover was blown. The Phantom Society? That summoner we just beat was one of theirs? Yeah, and they're Yadagarasu's sworn enemy. The Phantom Society is a secret organization of devil summoners, just like Yadagarasu. Where we differ, however, is our intentions. They want one thing, to see this world destroyed. You mean... Exactly. The end of the world you were talking about is almost definitely linked to the Phantom Society. Things are starting to come together here in a pretty big way. Safe to say, we can count Ion's appearance as part of all that. Sounds like we better hurry then. Enemy up ahead.
whenever you need me. Try it out. Stretch. Very good. Nice going. Let me see. Ooh, that'll work. That should work. Ooh, that'll work. Let's give it a try. Here goes. You've got some, some nerve. nerve. Out of my way. Time to kick it off. Here we go. It looks like it'll work. And that might be dangerous, Ringo. <laughs> Wide open. Let's keep up the fight with this power. We can win this. And they just had to get in the way. Hey, Ringo. Be a bit of a waste to use demons solely for fighting. Oh. You mean they can be used for- Yeah. Recon. You can send them out to scout our surroundings. And- Oh. Leaving this to you. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Best of luck.
it's not a mess. Got you. That's a new one. All right. You gonna try it out? Huh? How's this? Let's keep up the fight. Let's go. Make the call, Arrow. Silent as snowfall. You wanted a fight? You got one. Let's maintain the advantage. Nice. Comp systems online. Yeah, good plan. I'm up. All right. You got this, Wingo. I hear you. Good hit. That's an agent of Ion. With this power. Take it away. We can target their weakness. Let them have it, Arrow. On your orders. There it is. Too late for regrets now. Charge! Oh, got so so nervous. They just had to get in the way. Have you found Melody yet? Wait, Arrow? But how? No time for small fry. Let's push on through. Right! We can't afford to lose. All right! Can you handle this? Huh. I know we can win this. Let me see. Let him have it, Arrow. Got it. Nailed it! Out of my way. Nice going. 
Okay. Don't know till you try. I hope this works. Here goes. Damn it. Out of my way. Let's roll. Got to try. That looks like. Give him hell, Ringo. I got this. You little. Smart choice. Let me see. How's this gonna go? He's through. No way. That was a joke. So both Phantom and Yatagarasu are after this Milady person. But just who the heck is she? It's all you guys talk about. Milady is a devil summoner from the Phantom Society. However, they've marked her as a traitor. And what about you? You must have some reason to protect her, hmm? You gonna tell me? Well, I... Eh, it's fine. I'm sure I'll figure it out sooner or later. Let's keep moving. Let's roll. This should do it. Enemy sighted. Moving to it to let me see. You got it. On your orders. All according to plan. Fine. I'll get serious. 
Hmm, no data. Next. Yeah, good plan. <laughs> What's our opener? With this power. Let's give it a Eat this. Nice. a joke. Totally. That's crazy. Melody! Looks like we need a change of plan. Yo, man! Yo, yo, Arrow's here. Except you ain't no ghost. RS. Am I tripping, man? My boys told me you were straight up dead. They cut your mic. Stay off the stage, man. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this clown. Who's he? Yo, they call me Rob Soldier. Ought to be yes. It ain't hyperbole, cause I could kill on the beat, representing the Phantom Society. Phantom's gonna need all those covenants. Only way we can rain some hell down on the whole world. We're going live! Your boy RS, he's at the head of the pack. Proposers come at me and they don't come back. I drop that face like an earthquake. You throw hands with me, you made your last mistake. Let's go. Here we go. Careful, Ringo. That swagger's not a front. He's tough. They call me all rest because I'm a dope MC. All my boys making noise in the COMP. So let's make this body count of one, two, three. We're fighting for our own cause. Yeah, Remember, good plan. they might counterattack, Ringo. Here goes. We'll take them down. Let me say hope this works. Eat this! That's a hit. I can't win. Think I'll run? Well, think again. This off! <laughs> Hmm. 
They're strong. Be on your guard. Let's roll. Smart choice with this power. Here goes. Out of my way. We can't afford to lose. Let's roll. Give him hell, Ringo. Good plan, Arrow. Nice moves. Okay. Make the call, Arrow. <laughs> Too late for regrets now. Down. Fine. I'll get serious. That's one way to go about it, but shred him. <laughs> nice moves with this power. I won't stop you. Reach you where you stand. Nailed it. Out of my way. Skills for the kills, cause they're genuine. Get what you get when you stomp the landmine. Yeah, I'm the payoff, and you're the punchline. A slick skill for a quick kill. Time to get ill. I'll wrestle the host. <laughs> Hell no. I can still fight. Careful now. Can't be too careful. I won't lose. We'll take them down. Let me Ooh, see. Ooh, that'll work. Let them have it, Arrow. Right away, Ringo. Too late for regrets now. RS and take the L. Damn it. He had backup. Ringo! Fig! Ringo, what is this thing? Uh, it's going into me? 
The Covenant's joining with you. Covenant? Then, this was the point of Dr. Onda's message. Fig? Fig? Are you alright? Fig! I'm not detecting any abnormalities at the moment. My chest feels a bit hot, though. How strange. <sighs> so, you're a friend then? That's right. I'm Fig. I'm an agent of Ion, just like Ringo. Pleased to meet you, Arrow. Pleased to meet you, Fig. Are there a lot of your kind out there? There are only two like us. Ringo and I have the unique ability to directly intervene with human affairs. Just to confirm, Fig, are we too late to save Melody through normal means? Yes. By the time I arrived, she was already... Yeesh. Two soul hacks this quick, huh? Who'd have thought? Ringo? You can't mean... Are you going to bring Melody back? Like you did with me? Think about it this way. We know Arrow's death is somehow related to the end of the world. Arrow was trying to protect Melody. But what if we assume the trigger is not Arrow's death, but his failure to complete his mission? I can't authorize this. We don't even know if there were any consequences from the last soul hack. It'll be fine. I think I've got the hang of it. That's not the issue here. This is just to be safe. We need to be thorough, and that means cutting this thing off at every turn. And not only that, but I agreed to help Arrow protect Melody. So that's what I'm gonna do. Understood. I'll keep watch. Can I ask you to do the same, Arrow? <clears throat> right. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Systems are go. Process complete. This is an unjust world, a false world. Let's destroy it together. Such beauty, and so mournful too, just like him.
Sure, you're the main squeeze of the man in the mask, but you're endable, expendable, so hope you brought a casket. Ooh, zip, talk about a fall. Oh, less has got you, but you're back against the wall. here. Not until I know the truth. <sighs> A lot easier the second time around. And you are? Relax, lady. You don't have to glare like that. My name's Rango. I'm an agent of Ion. I'm a super intelligent being born from the Sea of Information, and I'm here to stop the apocalypse. And what does this super intelligent being want with a dead woman? Well, Melody, how about I show you? Just come with me, and we'll go back. I'm dead, you singleton. There's no going back. Why are you even here anyway? I'm gonna save the world. That's more than the world deserves. Okay. Guess it's gonna take a little more than that. So that's it. This is where you die and you're okay with that? Because it sounded to me like you had something you still needed to do. You were running away. You wanted to survive. So take my hand, Melody. And you can survive. You'll get one more chance to make things right. Hey, she's back! I guess it's true. Ion really is something else. So, Ion is a non-human being born from a bunch of information, and you are like a splinter of it. That much I get. That also explains how I'm back from the dead. What I don't understand is why you're here. Wait, Melody! We're not with Phantom. We're here to protect you. Hmm? What are you talking about? Right, so, uh... I'm actually with Yadagarasu. My being with Phantom was all an act. These two here are helping me with my mission. 
Yatakarasu? Then you're still my enemy. Only if you're still a summoner for Phantom. They're after you too, aren't they? Doesn't seem like either of us is in the best spot. <sighs> Could you even go back to the Phantom Society at this point, Melody? I think it'd be kind of hard. Tch, what's your point? I'm saying we can help you. And it's not like we're asking you to spill your soul, so why not hear what we have to say? If your only concern is what you'll get out of it, that's fine. Even if you decide to act alone, a little more info couldn't hurt, right? <sighs> I suppose I'll take you up on your offer. For now. Then, it looks like Melody's safe and sound. Sure took a lot of effort, though. Now then, we'll want to go over everything we've learned so far. That should help us get a better understanding of the situation. There's still way too much we don't know. Like about covenants and how you two factor into all of this. For now, we should get out of here. This place is dangerous. But where should we go? If you need a place, I've got a safe house I've been using. We should be free to talk there. <sighs> Thank you, Arrow. Let's hurry then. Hmm, not really what I expected, but it's not bad. Glad you like it. The fig, Melody. Feel free to make yourselves at home, too. Thank you for everything, Arrow. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. Arrow, you were trying to save Melody because of that light form thing, right? Guess there's no point in hiding it now, is there? Yeah, that's right. The Covenant came out of Melody and then went into me. Of course. It's because I died. I get that these Covenant things are important somehow, but I'm only just now starting to wrap my head around it. Can you tell me more about them? You two are Devil Summoners, after all. <laughs> all right. This is my understanding of it. Covenants are like a big source of energy, and they've been passed down from soul to soul for generations. Supposedly, these Covenant holders wield great power. What kind of power? Well, simply put, possessing a covenant awakens the holder's latent abilities. In some cases, it can even spark, well, evolution. They say there's a total of five covenants out there. Having one as powerful as it is, but the effects would only go as far as the individual could take them. Now, if someone were to possess all five, then that'd be something else entirely gather up all five covenants and you could you could what you could call forth what's known as the great one a being prophesied to bring ultimate destruction to the world as we know it that's what they say at least 
summoning this great one is Phantom's top priority. Am I right, Melody? Please. You don't really need me to confirm that, do you, Mr. Double Agent? If the Holder dies, the Covenant gets passed on to someone else. As a result, there's almost always some sort of conflict surrounding them. What a surprise. I see now. So when Melody died, the Covenant found a new owner in Fig. These Covenants, and this world-ending Great One you mentioned. I believe these may be the seeds that make Ion's prediction come true. Gotta be. Considering we're trying to stop the end of the world, the Phantom Society's shaping up to be a pretty big obstacle. Agreed. And now that we know their intentions, we must protect this Covenant inside of me at all costs. That's going to be a problem for me. Forget it, Melody. Our summoning abilities are... changed. We don't have control over our demons. Ringo does. We think it might be due to the soul hack. Excuse me? No one told me about this. Don't look at me. You can still summon through me, however. Do you think you can make do with that? I'd rather you just give me my summoning abilities back along with my covenant. Can you do that? Mm, not right away, no. You owe me for bringing you back to life. Just think of this as a little collateral for the time being. Well, it's not a terribly good deal for me, is it? Way I see it, I'm basically your slave. You don't mince words. I like that. Still, I'm afraid I can't back down that easily. What exactly is the Covenant to you, Melody? I don't think I need to explain why the Phantom Society needs summoners, do I? Right. So you're after the end of the world too, huh? Hey, Ringo. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. What's up? Ion aren't human, right? So why was the Covenant passed on to Fig? What are you, really? We agents of Ion are highly intelligent beings born from a sea of information. By installing an ego into a simulated human body, the foundation is laid for a soul to develop alongside it. So a machine can have a soul? Is that so strange? Your bodies are practically machines too, albeit fleshy ones. Even for our kind, there is still a lot about the soul that remains unknown. Like where they come from, or what they truly are. We're no experts either. But the self-evident truth is, should one accurately recreate a human body and provide it with a means of control, then a soul will naturally take root. In other words, it's not just this mechanical shell, or rather, this body at play. It's a complex chain of different physiological reactions that shape the soul. <sighs> yeah, I didn't get any of that. Okay, then we're supercomputers trapped inside grandfather clocks. In even plainer terms, our origins may be different, but we are more or less the same as humans. The trade-off is, in this form we can't operate at Ion's full power nor do we have access to massive amounts of data like we used to. Ah, oh, I see. I guess that's why they said this form was the most ideal for our mission. Can't really soul hack if you don't have a soul yourself, can you? Oh, that's right, Ringo. I meant to tell you earlier, but I've made a new discovery. It's about Target Alpha, Ichiro Onda. If I remember right, that's the famous computer engineer. What about him? Fig was acting separately from me at the time. She was trying to protect Onda just as I was trying to protect you, Arrow. The mission was a failure, but I managed to restore the surveillance camera footage. I found a video of what happened in the 24th Ward Municipal Tower. And? He was killed by someone named Iron Mask. Did you say Iron Mask? The leader of Project C finally makes his move. It was him. So... You know him. Or, well, I guess you would, seeing as you two are together. You are? He called himself Iron Mask. Are you absolutely certain? Let's take a look at the footage. Outputting video.
impressive. I can't imagine how many security measures were in your way. You're no mere trespasser. Ichiro Onda, I presume. The greatest computer engineer of our time. It's a pleasure. And you are? I am the leader of Project C. You may call me Iron Mask. <laughs> a bit on the nose. Was Black Suit taken? Or are you a prisoner broken free? Well, it's fine. You're welcome to celebrate with me, Masked Man. So is your little wallflower. It's complete. A system to shatter the status quo with a perfect name to shake the very foundation of academia. The Omni System. Glorious, isn't it? Can't you feel its power? But now it's finished and I'm done with it. If you're a thief, then go ahead and take it. You've designed a masterpiece, Doctor. The Omni System will uplift mankind to new heights. Alas, I'm afraid your part in our grand pageant ends here. We want something quite different from you. I should have known. If you don't want my creation, then you must be after me. Well, what dwells within me? You want the Covenant? Ah, you're already aware. You do know I'm a genius. <coughs> Say, masked man, one last tip. Call it. A parting gift from a genius. No one can control the future. Iron Mask. I have a future. Goodbye, Ichiro Anna. Your covenant serves you well, but it will serve me far better. So that's it. Ichiro Ando was a Covenant holder too. And we got a good look at Iron Mask. Plus, whatever that freaky, murdery guy was. The guy that tore out Ando's Covenant, you mean? Strength like that definitely isn't human. Maybe it's some new species of bear or something? Melody, you were on Iron Mask's team. Know anything about that? Not really. All I know is he called that thing Zenon. He also referred to it as a vessel for the Covenants. A vessel for the Covenants, huh? It seems he lacked the power to fend off their attack. Say, Melody, if you and Iron Mask are an item, why is he after you? <laughs> Ringo, what would you say to working together? You help me meet with Iron Mask. What's in it for me? I'll help you prevent this end of the world or whatever you've been going on about. And I'll give you all of the Covenant Holders' names. Deal? You sure? I thought you wanted the world to end. Some things take priority. All right then, Melody. It's a deal. Rather quick to trust, aren't you? 
not at all. But we both benefit from this. And for now, that's all I need. Speaking of which, I'm hoping we can count you in too, Arrow. Sure. It's not like I don't have stakes in this. All right, then. It's settled. Let's all just try to get along from here on out. <sighs> you call that getting along? Arrow, did you do something to her? No. At least, I don't think so. Oh, really? Yatagarasu never did anything to interfere with the Phantom Society's plans? Well, that's nothing new. Phantom and Yatagarasu have been at each other's throats for forever. I hate it when humans act like this. Hey, Melody, maybe try to look at Arrow as his own person, rather than as a member of Yatagarasu. I suppose I can do that. On to the main topic. Melody, if you could go over the Covenant holders for us. Right. These are the five people the Phantom Society had marked as Covenant Holders. First is Iron Mask, leader of the Covenant Recovery Project, or Project C. He's a Covenant Holder as well. The Covenant Recovery Project. How is the Phantom Society able to identify these individuals? A Covenant Holder can detect another simply by looking at them. A quick glance in their direction is all it takes. Coupling that with the organization's power, the Phantom Society has been able to identify Covenant Holders for a long time. Up next, we have Ichiro Onda, our late computer engineer. He held a Covenant, but had no summoning ability. Going off the security footage we just saw, his Covenant is currently being held by that man, Zenon. This means Iron Mask is in possession of at least two Covenants at this time. The third Covenant Holder is a Devil Summoner, Mangetsu Kuzunoha. I imagine a certain someone here knows a lot more about him than I do, though. He's one of Yatagarasu's top devil summoners. And one of the key players in protecting this country. There you have it. The fourth is a man named Saizo, who operates out of Karakacho. He's a freelance summoner who's had dealings with both Yatagarasu and the Phantom Society. And lastly, our fifth covenant holder was me. Though that's clearly not the case anymore. That's the one I currently have. So many of them have switched owners in such a short time. It's kind of hard to follow. Hang on a sec. Does that mean Iron Mask was targeting those two Covenant holders at once? If that's true, then the others could be in danger too. Humility, any idea where Saizo might be? Word is, he's typically hanging around Bar Hydran about this time. It's over on Jinsando Street. Then that's where we gotta go. You coming, Faith? I'll wait here for everyone. If worse comes to worst, we can't allow our enemies to obtain any more covenants. That said, you'll need an operator of sorts to appraise the situation. So allow me to play that role from the back end. Roger. We'll let you handle things here then. 